When Zachary was first born and everyone came to see us, they were all asking how Zachary was, how Zachary was doing, what colour were his eyes. They did ask, obviously, about my labour, how the labour went, what I have went through and the surgery, but no one asked how I was feeling. Zachary was a brilliant baby. He didn't really ask for much. He just fed, slept and pooped like babies do and should. But I was permanently worried something was wrong with him and that's when my crying started. I literally cried and cried and cried and I didn't know why I was crying, but I couldn't stop. So we're probably about 12 days in and I still don't feel anything for him. He's just another baby. I know he's my baby and I know there's that care element, but I'm still waiting for it. That feeling of, I will kill for this child. That feeling of undying love. If I had said, my wrist really hurts and I can't put weight on it, they would have made me go and see my GP or a nurse. But because I was crying, well, that's what all mums do. All new mums cry. It's, it's a stage, it's the baby blues. I'm not an angry person, but I just wanted to explode. I just wanted to scream at everyone and I wanted to wear a t-shirt that said, I'm not well, but it's literally like no one can hear you. It's like you're screaming and banging in this box, but on the outside, no one can hear it. And you're just stuck there on your own. I didn't see a way out at all. I didn't understand what was wrong with me. I didn't want to be here anymore. I didn't want to be Zachary's mum. I didn't want to be my partner's girlfriend. I just wanted to be dead. It was only when I actually heard the words postnatal depression said by someone else that the walls all fell down out of that box and I was able to be heard again. And people were listening to what I wanted to say. I was in the mother and baby unit for eight weeks. They got my confidence back up, they got my personality to come back out again. And towards the end, I really enjoyed being there because I was getting me back as well. I didn't want postnatal depression and going into the unit allowed me to see that it doesn't pick who gets it, it just happens. By accepting I had postnatal depression and anxiety, it meant I could accept that there was a diagnosis for me there was a medication and treatment plan for me, but I could also see that I was gonna accept getting better. If you feel that something isn't right with your mental health, there are so many resources out there of people that aren't just there to help, they want to help you. Go and talk to someone, don't bottle it up, don't keep it inside, and definitely don't feel like you've failed or you're wrong. Find the right resource for you and try it. And if that doesn't work, try something else. My return to work was amazing. They've basically said, do what's right for you. And they have been so supportive so that I don't get anxious about not being there if he's poorly or something like that. The Minds at City campaign is just gonna get bigger and bigger. I think once people start talking about it and it becomes part of our everyday vocabulary, things will start to change and things will get better for a lot of people.